Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix a somewhat obscure bug in Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light. Now this bug occurs when you try to use a non-native resolution on your monitor that's different from its native resolution's aspect ratio. So in my case I'm trying to use the resolution of 3840 by 1728 on my monitor which is actually 3840 by 2160. So what happens, the game detects the standard 4K resolution and sets the aspect ratio to that regardless of the wider aspect ratio resolution that I'm choosing to use. And the result is what you can see on the screen here, where the image is just generally stretched out and kind of unpleasant to the eye. It's certainly playable like this, mind you, but it's just not a very pleasant experience to have everything so stretched out like this. And uh, to top it all off, the standard field of view in Metro 2033 is quite narrow, so this is probably pretty nauseating to watch for some people. So one of the first things you might want to try if you're experiencing an issue like this, if you're an NVIDIA user, is to go into your NVIDIA control panel, um, find under the display tab the adjust desktop size and position menu, and set your scaling mode to aspect ratio, and to perform your scaling on the GPU, and as well override the scaling mode set by games and programs. Unfortunately, this doesn't really work in this case, so uh, we'll have to go about doing this in another way. One of the ways I've found online to fix this problem is to go into the user.config file for the game and actually just set the game to run in windowed mode. So you can do that by finding the parameter r underscore full screen and simply setting that to off. And if we save this file, if I change my screen resolution down to 3840 by 1728 like I'd like to use in the game, um, should be good to go. While I'm in here, I'm also going to change the R underscore base underscore FOV value to 60. Um, and this should help prevent uh, the game from being a little bit nauseating at this aspect ratio that I'm using. So now as we go into game, immediately we can see that not only do we have a wider field of view, but we are also at an appropriate aspect ratio, which prevents the game from being stretched out. However, from the stats at the top left, you can also see that vertical sync is no longer enabled. And this actually introduces a stutter or judder to the game, which will even persist if you were to limit your frame rate in something like RebaTuner's statistics server. So in the end, this isn't actually a pleasant experience either. So the real solution to this problem that I've found is to play the game in full screen mode. So just go ahead and change that R underscore full screen back to on and go back into your NVIDIA control panel to the change resolution tab. In here, you'll want to create a new resolution that is at the aspect ratio you'd like, but is greater than your monitor's native resolution. So in this case, my monitor resolution is 3840 by 2160, and I want to play in 3840 by 1728, which is three quarters of my vertical resolution. So in order to do this, I'll have to create a new resolution that is 1.25 times greater on the horizontal axis than my monitor's native resolution. So going into the calculator here, we can multiply 3840 by 1.25, and we get 4800. So we'll now create a resolution of 4800 by 2160, which the game will now detect as my monitor's native resolution, and fix the aspect ratio scaling for my configuration at 3840 by 1728. Keep in mind, Performing this fix will also make playing at 3840 by 2160 squished along the horizontal axis. But that doesn't really matter since this isn't the resolution I'll be playing in anyways, and I can delete this larger custom resolution if I want to go back to 3840 by 2160 in the future. Now if we head back into the game, we should see that all the aspect ratio issues should be alleviated. So I'm using 3840 by 1728 and not 4800 by 2160, even though it's now an option in the menu. So let's continue the game and we can see that now both the aspect ratio bug is fixed and we have a proper implementation of vertical sync, which you can see by the statistics on the top left of the screen, as well as no more stutters or judders on my end due to the DWM desktop composition that's present in windowed mode. So the last thing I'd like to mention is this Metro Mouse Fix 1.2 modification, which you should definitely use if you're playing the game on an ultra wide monitor. This fix basically prevents Metro 2033 Redux or Metro Last Light Redux um, from relating your horizontal and vertical mouse sensitivities, which shouldn't be different in the first place, to your vertical and horizontal screen resolutions. So all you need to do is download this .dll file and drag it into your Metro 2033 installation folder, 
and the, the fix will be applied immediately. You can just simply launch your game and you'll be good to go. So that about wraps things up. I hope you guys have found this video helpful and to get the most enjoyment possible out of Metro 2033 or Last Light. Hopefully this fix won't be necessary in Exodus, but only time will tell. Thanks for watching.